Namaskar Nileshok in Dr. No Shorts Part 2. In this segment, we are going to understand what is meant by the precession of the equinoxes or in a correct language, the precession, the moment, the motion of the Earth's axis. But before I show you the simulation, let's quickly look at the consequences of this precession of the Earth's axis. First, it's a very slow motion of the Earth's axis and it completes one cycle in about 26,000 years. So it's a very slow moment. This procession is responsible for a lot of things, but the two things I'm going to mention are, first, it changes the pole star or the pole point. It changes the north pole point in the northern hemisphere. It changes the south, south pole point in the southern direction. And if there is a bright star next to that pole point at any point, we call it a pole star. Okay. The second consequence of this procession is that the nakshatra at the point of equinox, like equinoxes, the fall equinox and the spring equinox, and then solstices, the winter solstice and summer solstice, they also change. Now, you will be very happy and you may find it interesting information to know that Hindu astronomy is the first that talks of not only the precession of the Earth's axis, this very phenomenon, but also its most accurate rate of precession, the rate of the motion, the rate of the movement, and the Hindu astronomers of deep antiquity estimated this rate to be equal to 54 arc second per year. And that rate has changed over the years. Current rate is about 50 arc second per year. And why is this important? Well, understanding precession is important for a lot of things, but definitely it is important to understand the antiquity of Hindu astronomy and antiquity of Hindu civilization. All right. And with that, I am going to take you to the simulation of this phenomenon. Notice where the point of Earth's axis is pointing to in the northern hemisphere. That refers to NCP, North Celestial Point. You have the similar point in the southern hemisphere, South Celestial Point. Notice the positions of the equinoxes and solstices. This is the scenario as seen today. In our times, the vernal equinox is near Nakshatra Uttara Bhadrapad. Summer solstice is near Nakshatra Ardra. Autumnal or fall equinox is near Nakshatra Hasta Uttara Falguni. And winter solstice is near Nakshatra Mura. And if you notice this point of NCP, North Celestial Point, where Earth's axis is pointing to in our times, that is very close to a star in the Northern Hemisphere called Polaris. And therefore, Polaris is our current pole star in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, remember, it takes 26,000 years to make a one complete cycle. So if we go back in the past by 26,000 years, it will bring us to the exactly same position. And guess what? In fact, that's the exact position I'm showing it to you. So now I will walk you through a quick fast journey of 26,000 years and notice how the NCP and SCP, they change. And therefore, if there is a bright star next to them, that star will be considered the pole star. All right, let's do that. And also notice the change of nakshatra for the points of equinoxes and also for the points of solstices. That is it. That is our precession of the Earth's axis, precession of the equinoxes. Namaskar. I will see you soon in another episode of Dr. No Shorts.